Hi, my name is Eric Milanese. I'm a physician assistant in the Division of Colon and Rectal Surgery at Dartmouth-Hitchcock Medical Center. Today we're going to talk about hemorrhoids, which are one of the more common problems patients come to our clinic for. There are some very effective treatments that you can do well right at home. Stay tuned for a brief video. You might be surprised to know that hemorrhoids are a normal part of our anatomy. They're natural cushions which make up the anal canal and help us maintain our continence. Occasionally, they become inflamed and cause people to have symptoms. Those symptoms are typically painless bleeding, such as blood on the toilet paper or in the toilet after a bowel movement, itching, swelling, a bulge or prolapse, and sometimes mucus drainage. Naturally, you might ask, if we all have hemorrhoids, why do they cause symptoms? And the answer is we don't really know. It's usually a combination of several factors. Those include straining on the toilet, constipation, prolonged periods of dry or hard stools, irregular bowel habits, such as alternating constipation and diarrhea, chronic diarrhea, and just too much time spent on the toilet. However, you'll be relieved to know that the treatment of symptomatic hemorrhoids often does not require a surgical-based procedure or office-based intervention. Some simple changes to our diet and lifestyle will effectively take care of greater than 60% of patients with symptomatic hemorrhoids. And that just starts with doing three simple things at home. That is, increase the daily consumption of our dietary fiber, increase the amount of water that we drink during the day, and to change the way in which we go to the bathroom. Let's look at that. Here in the United States, the average person gets about 15 grams of fiber each day. The recommended amount is closer to 28 to 35 grams. Fiber helps makes our stool soft by increasing the amount of water that gets retained in them, making it easier to pass during a bowel movement. It also helps limit the amount of inflammation. So how do we get more fiber? Here in our clinic, we recommend the use of a daily dietary fiber supplement. There are three options to choose from, all of which come in powder formulations that can be purchased at your local pharmacy or grocery store. These options include Metamucil powder, Citrusel powder, and Benefiber powder. Remember, just choose one and stick with it. It's important to take it at the same time every day. This encourages you not to skip doses and keeps you on a regular schedule. Lastly, we want to stress the importance of continuing to eat good sources of fruits and vegetables, as this is part of maintenance of a healthy lifestyle. The second component of our treatment involves increasing the amount of water to approximately 48 to 64 ounces each day. That's six to eight full glasses. The water will bind with the fiber to prevent hard stools and limit constipation. The third component involves the way in which we go to the bathroom. You should be spending no more than five minutes on the toilet. It's important not to strain. If you can't go, get up and wait until you have the urge to go. Use a squatty potty or a toilet stool. This will help relax the muscles of the pelvic floor, easing passage of stool during bowel movements. Lastly, please don't read while on the toilet bowl. No cell phones or tablets. Despite this, there may be a few people who continue to have constipation or hard stools. For this, we recommend Miralax. It's a gentle, non-habit-forming, non-irritant laxative that can be purchased at the pharmacy. Okay, let's bring this all together. Step number one, use a fiber supplement. This comes in a powder formulation that you mix in an eight ounce glass of water every day. Number two, increase the amount of water that you drink to six to eight full glasses each day. Number three, this centers around toilet training. Limit the time spent in the bathroom to less than five minutes, no straining, no reading, and use a squatty potty. If you continue to have constipation, you may use Miralax. For those of us who have irritation and discomfort related to the hemorrhoids during the first few weeks of a flare, we have found the use of a sitz bath to be very effective. This consists of a two to three inch amount of warm water placed at the bottom of a tub that you can use to soak your bottom in 
two to three times per day. You can expect to see results from these interventions in about two weeks. However, it may take approximately eight weeks for you to receive the full benefit. We'd like to stress the importance that you stick with this regimen every day and not skip. You're making an investment in yourself and this will have benefits for years to come. We'll have some resources available for you should you have any additional questions or need clarification. Thanks for your time and thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.